areas that we look at. Developing new revenue models for content owners. So uh, if I stick to the games area for now, that's essentially working with game publishers, developers to look at can we put advertising, integrate brands into the games? Can we look at new distribution models where a brand could uh, for example, distribute the, the, the game where you don't have to work with a publisher or if, if you can't get your game published or content for um, a brand's website, etc. So looking at new, new ways rather than the traditional boxed methods of selling games. Obviously we've got so many more channels, as I mentioned, to, to, on TV as well as other platforms to choose from. So I think brands are being more clever and hopefully they're understanding where their audience is so they can be more targeted. It's about you know being smart in this area, attracting brands in with your own money, um, creating prime time opportunities for them, creating really fantastic content that then has a long life and sells abroad and creates a format and creates a long tail. More brands are spending money and engaging their audiences rather than reaching and telling them buy our product. And that's where branded content or in-game advertising or online comes in. On Bebo, the users have a profile page, so it's only natural for the characters within our dramas to have a profile page as well. So the users themselves, the fans of the shows, they can leave comments against the character's page. They can actually say to the character, watch out for the bad guy behind you, um, he's gonna get you, and then the character's right back saying, thanks for that, Wayne, most appreciated. Probably a bit more um, succinctly put than that, but essentially the audience participate in the show. They have an influence on where we go um, with this particular piece of, piece of drama. Um, and that goes the same for the brand. The brand becomes integral to that, to that show. The brand will have a profile page and the, the characters and the show befriend the brand. So between us, we are driving traffic between the show to the brand, to the characters, and the audience is participating. They are becoming famous themselves. The stuff that we're creating can be viewed whenever the audience wants to view it. And I think that's, that's why online is going to be so important that people don't necessarily wait till nine o'clock to watch an episode of whatever it may be. Well, I think we're seeing more and more that it's, it, it's not a, a, a generational thing and that um, there's, there's lots of uh, data now that uh, older generations are engaging with the, the internet in, in, a, in far greater numbers. The interesting thing from online, specifically social networks and Bebo, is that when a brand is involved in a video, you can leave a comment. You can say whether you like that video or not. So. Um, you, you're getting first-hand, real-time research, quality of research back in terms of how people have actually um, taken to that particular episode. I have adjudicated some real corkers of ideas of brands coming into me. There was a, I did a ten-part series with, with Cow and Gator, um, a baby food company, and they came in saying, have I got the show for you? Shiny floor television quiz show, and it's going to be mums answering questions about weaning. Now, God knows television doesn't need another shiny floor quiz show, but about weaning, no, that's just not right at all. And so I talked to them about, you know, parenting was a real interesting growth area editorially. We had Who Ruled the Roosts, House of Tiny Tearaways, Little Angels, it was informative. There were takeout tips. There was, there was a, a narrative journey of a child that was helped, a parent that was helped. It wasn't about weaning and quizzes. It's only a media week this week, there's a double page spread of product placement 2.0. They are setting up different arms around branded content um, and like it or not, they are a big, they are a big part of, of, of who we need to speak to on, on a daily basis. It's all about the audience, what they'll accept, how you integrate the, 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 the product or the brand into the storyline or the programme in whatever way. I think almost the word product placement is, is possibly a bit, you know, unfortunate. And, and actually, if it were to be passed, 
you would find it was the product integrated rather than just the, the crassness of a product placed. You know, we talk about brands every day of our lives. We leave, we leave this you know, room and we, we, can, we can have an opinion about the trainers that bloke was wearing or not. So it, people talk about brands on, offline, they talk about brands online because it's natural to do so. I think there's a fantastic opportunity for production companies. I don't know how many are here today. Uh, in this new world, and it's the opportunity that's delivered <coughs> by niche broadcasting. Our belief is we're going to move quite quickly now into what is a two-tier world uh, of media content consumption, as you see the rapid growth of iPlayer, Hulu in America, and uh, even ITV.com is, is, is coming up with some successful figures now. We're moving into a world where you can access any pr premium content whenever you want on a platform, on a screen that you want. If you can do that, why are you going to watch anything other than the premium stuff? Well, the other stuff I think people will watch in the future increasingly is content that speaks to them about the interests that drive their life. It's their hobbies, it's the niche interests. There is no single model of doing this. It is about creating the right partnerships between a number of different people, um, being the content owner, the, the the platform owner, the brand, and the media agency, as well as the ad agency. No single person can deliver the deal um, by themselves, unfortunately. I would really advise trying to go to the brand directly. Um, you're, if you can engage a marketing director um, and, and they come on your journey with you, then you're in a much better space um, rather than just pitching in an idea to a media agency. To be honest, the media agencies in this country are a, a, a very large part of why this sector has not taken off. Um, again, a bit like the, the, some of the broadcasters, uh, in my opinion, these are the dinosaurs. They're hanging on to an old, old models of doing business. They're desperately hanging on to relationships with clients, many of whom want to do more interesting things that are better served by either going Direct, directly with a broadcaster or a production company or maybe even with, with a specialist agency like ourselves. But if you're a small production company then, then go with your level so don't spend your time waiting for the marketing director of Coca-Cola to ring you back because they're not going to but just work out where is the right brand for you and where you are and what you want to make and what broadcaster you're going to aim this at or what online platform you're going to aim this at.